Well, John, I think I'm going to safely say this is the most expensive coin I've seen in a very long time. It, it, it'll pay for a few rounds in your local pub, certainly. I think it would. I think it would, it, it would keep me merry for the rest of my days. It, it, it would keep, um, keep you merry and the rest of your, your neighbours and your relatives <laughs> and the whole town. Really, you don't know how much we drink. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me about this. Now, obviously, let me tell you what I can see. I can see a James Bond, Aston Martin, DB5. I can see it. We've got the 007. It's a gold-coloured coin. I'm only assuming it's absolutely solid gold. And it's, and it's captured in Perspex in a case. It is. Tell me more. Well, um, you're, you're pretty spot on. Gold-coloured, yeah, most definitely. Solid gold. Solid gold. Um, this is a Royal Mint Special Edition uh, James Bond release. Um, this is one of only two coins that the Royal Mint struck. Um, it weighs an eye-watering five kilos. Five kilos of solid gold. Pure 24 carat. Okay, a quick question. Who on earth would buy a coin like that? A very, very wealthy person. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they would have to have so much money. They're going to have to have several houses, several Aston Martins, a couple of yachts. And, and every vintage watch in the world to ever consider thinking, what else do I need in my life? So this is going to appeal to um, two types of buyer, obviously coin collectors. Um, very, it is a very special, very exclusive release. Is or, it very heavy? Are you going to pick it up or yeah, not? So, so it, and not including the Perspex case, it yeah. weighs five kilos. So it's, it's a lot of weight in a small package. Um, so yes, coin collectors. Um, coin the, collectors. I've met coin collectors. I've never met a coin collector <laughs> who would buy such a gold coin. We're going to get to price in the moment. I'd love my viewers to just think whilst we're talking. How much do you think at home this solid gold coin is going to be? I think it's going to be mind boggling. I've just noticed something. You've got that kind of, what is that? It's like a camera lens, isn't it? That was from the... So obviously the, the, the iconic um, uh, opening credits of the right. James Bond film, you've got the down the barrel of the gun. That's right. Okay, and we've got Queen Elizabeth II on the reverse. So, so, so that design, before I flip it, um, th this design was created by a very talented lady at the Royal Mint called Laura Clancy. And the, the design on... <sighs> On the obverse is the Jodie Clark design wow. of Her Majesty. And 2021, only yes. two made. Yep, so this is certificate. Oh you, oh, you even get a certificate. Absolutely. That's marvellous. This is number one. So for a coin collector, that's important as okay. well. Okay, okay. So number one is worth more than number two. It's more desired. If you, if you can get number one, it's all about why, that. why would you want number two? Well, why would you? If you've Unless got that you want sort of... both. <laughs> exactly. Now, what about the case as well? The case looks very smart. So yes, uh, uh, the, the, the coin is presented in um, a specially made attaché case, of course, being a James Bond coin. It's got to come in a James Bond attaché case. Oh, I see. So this is a Globetrotter case. The, oh, I see. The brand that James Bond uses in some of the films. Right. So it's specially made, specially fitted out for the coin. Okay. Goodness gracious me. It's going into auction. End of this month, end of end of January, twenty twenty four, in a specific coin sale or yes. yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 our first exclusive numismatic and uh, uh, coin sale. Okay, um, this is going to be one of the special lots. We have some very very exceptional coins going okay. through that sale. Um, the catalogue will obviously be online very okay. very soon. You're building it up, John. You're building it up. Okay, pick pick up the coin. So we, we, we put were it next to you. We, we were talking earlier about who this would um, appeal to, and we yeah. touched on the coin collectors. Yeah. And also, this um, is going to appeal to the investors as well, being that it has such intrinsic value to it. Yes. Um, five kilos of solid gold, the value today yeah. is going to be a little bit different to what five kilos of, of pure gold is going to be worth next year, 10 years time. So uh, it, it's, it's no different to buying a, a, an ex, a, a special antique okay. investment. Let me ask you a question. 
is the value purely based on its five kilo weight in gold? Yeah. Does it have much more of an intrinsic value because of exactly what it is? Yes. Okay. So you, you have to appreciate that a, a five kilo coin, um, it, it takes an enormous amount of work to yeah. create this. S smaller collectible coins are obviously struck by machine, but this has been um, hand created it's by some very talented people in the Royal Mint. I don't know why it makes me laugh. It, it, does it make you laugh? It makes me laugh. It's bizarre. It's bizarre. Get to the money, John, please. <laughs> it, the viewers all around the world are going, John, it's interesting, but how much is it worth? So auction estimate between 300 and 350,000 pounds.